Hello, this is a review of the Black & Decker LDX120C 20 volt lithium drill driver. It comes in a box that you see here. And out of the box, this is what you get. Of course you get the usual instruction manual, to, you can read later. Um, you get your charger to plug into the battery. Now this is a smaller charger than some of the older ones that used to be out there that you just plug onto the bottom and snap it into place there. Um, of course you get the battery which is going to plug onto the final, the drill, that you see here. And now with the battery connected we can take a look at it. So it's fairly light in my hand. It's lighter than another drill that I'm used to using in the past, but we'll compare that in a minute. Um, but we see that it's got a nice small battery at the bottom. It's got a charge to start with. You, just like any other cordless uh, drill that we have out there, you can still do it slow or fast depending on how you do it. And that's really useful, of course, if you're using the screwdriver aspect of it. So that's one of the things I like to do is it really helps speed up work. Um, you'll want to set the different tension settings that you see around so that if you're screwing and you don't strip your screw. Uh, but you have your usual clip one direction. You can flip the switch on the other side here to go in the other direction. I like that it has the rubber grips here and on the back here. It feels really comfortable in my hand. It's not too heavy. I wouldn't call it light, um, but it's certainly not something that's going to weigh you down. It's it, That's going to get in the way. Uh, but it's definitely not feather light, but it's lighter than some other drills that may be out there. And according to the manual, the charger will take about three to four hours to charge the battery. Now let's talk about what this doesn't have. So I'm going to compare it to a Ryobi drill that I bought over eight years ago for about a hundred bucks from a big box store. I loved this drill. It did everything I ever needed out of it um, until I dropped it off the top of a ladder one day and now it doesn't screw very straight anymore. So I was really happy to get an alternative here, a highly rated one at that too, or at least from Amazon reviews. Um, it does have a smaller battery so we can compare the battery size. Um, and let's take a closer look. So one of the things you'll notice right away other drills came with a case back then, so we don't have a nice carry case for it. So I, it came with a case, the you know, other ones here come with other accessories and attachments. Um, the chargers were much, much bigger, I mean compare, look how nice and small this charger is. So if you're going to, you know, throw it in your trunk, go on a small job that you might have, or just around the house, it's nice that you can throw this in a drawer. You know, this definitely needs the space that you have in the case. Um, here's the drill itself, this is much heavier of a drill that we have here compared to this nice light one here. So it is noticeably lighter in comparison compared to the two. Um, we can get a size comparison between the two so you can kind of get the gist of the difference. Now notice the battery size difference. and That's probably where you're getting a lot of your weight. Now these were always fairly evenly weighted probably because with the heavy bottom you had to have a heavy top to keep it balanced in your hand. But these always felt um, really good to me too. Um, the batteries and these are being eight years old, don't, don't last as long anymore. Um, they don't hold their charge as long anymore either. Whereas this one here holds its charge better, but it's brand new. So that was nice. So this is definitely lighter by um, any measure, by the way. So that was nice. Now, um, again, no carry case, which I really liked having this, by the way. I throw it in my garage, don't worry about it. Now I'm gonna have to find a box or something to store this thing in. Secondly is normally you want two batteries. Notice how this one here is one battery here and one battery here. This has just one battery. The big advantage of two batteries is that you just keep working. When one battery runs out, you throw it on the charger and continue using the other one. So I always keep the one that's connected to my flashlight over here charged up. Now again, this doesn't hold its charge like it used to long ago, but it's always ready to go. And by the time the second one wears out, the other one's already been charged up again. So um, that's been really nice. Otherwise, you're, you're done until this thing charges again. Now supposedly, these new lithium ones are gonna last longer and don't have memory effects and don't have other problems that batteries used to have and so on and so forth. And Oh, and um, supposedly this one is going to run at nearly full speed until it ends. When it's out, it's just gonna die. Whereas these start getting slower and slower and slower. It's nowhere near the speed that it used to be. Um, you can just start to get the feel for when the battery's going and then you would do that. Whereas this one's supposed to just run longer and then just stop. So that's a difference. Um, but um, we're looking at a smaller set that we have here compared to the much bigger set I have on the, on the right over there. 
Um, again, um, smaller, smaller battery. Two batteries on my old one, one battery in the new one. Um, lighter, um, carry case, no carry case. Now a few other differences. Here's a Pro. This one has a light on the front. So it's kind of nice that it lights the area, and you know what I'm talking about, every once in a while that does come in handy to have a light over there, but otherwise you just put clip lights or other lights behind you. Um, another difference is that, and these just vary, you have fewer number settings on this one versus this one. So I have 24 settings to ratchet this down for the different torques that you want before it um, stops spinning, like if you don't over strip a screw or something like that. Um, this is harder to turn. But I mean, these are no big deals. I mean, do you really need 24 settings? Honestly, I've only ever set it low or middle or high. I never, it doesn't matter that much to me, that subtle difference. Uh, but this was, since you can get your whole hand around it, it was a lot easier to just turn that. Whereas this one, um, due to the, you know, you had, you can only grab it between here and here and here. So it holds you a little bit harder. But as honestly, it's no big deal at all. Um, the other thing is these have often have two settings. So I have speed one, in speed two, um, this one had no such general settings. Um, this just has uh, one direction and another direction. Um, I also used to like that this one would show the direction. This, you know, this push this in to screw forward. So if you're going to screw a screw in, or on the back, if you want to um, unscrew something, it has the arrow going in the opposite direction. Um, it's just not as clear on this one here. You see what I'm saying? You would just have to know you can kind of see an arrow right next to it molded in the plastic. You see the arrow going out there, right by my thumb? That's arrow going out, and over here, that's an arrow going in. So it just tells you, but it was, it was easier to just tell at a glance on this one here. Another difference that I really got used to on my existing drill set is a magnetic strip down here. I can't tell you how useful this is. When I go up on a ladder and want to be able to just throw magnetic things on here, you know, if I had my screw, right, that's what happened. Right, that, it was so nice that you could just bring up, I'd bring up like five or 10 screws. Like I was recently putting uh, some armored cable around in my garage. And that's exactly what this is for. I can just leave this on with a whole bunch of these. I carry this up on a ladder and I can make, connect multiple sections at a time. You don't have that luxury with this here. At least they have the clip for switching between an actual drill bit and um, and the, the screw settings on the end here, but you'll have to find another solution for carrying up your screws. I'm sure there's other solutions out there, but I really got used to that. For me, when I was considering these, that was the biggest drawback that I wasn't quite sure about with getting this one here is um, I use this magnetic portion all of the time. I'm probably going to get used to using it for this one, so I thought I'd give a chance on this because there were such high reviews on this drill otherwise. Well, there you have it. I think it's a good lightweight drill. It's going to do a nice job, feels good in my hand. Um, I'm going to, of course, miss the features that were on my old drill set that aren't on this set here. Again, remember, number one is um, no magnetic strip. Number two is only one battery. You can buy more. They're kind of expensive um, when it was nice when they come in a kit with two for you right off the bat. And three, not having labeled in and out settings that I have here. Otherwise, it's smaller and more nimble, has a smaller charger, and look, from a storage perspective, you can store just this little bit, or you can store that whole box. So it has some advantages as well. It's just a decent all-round drill, I think, that doesn't have every bell and whistle that you might otherwise be looking for. Thanks for watching the review.